Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol SND. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to this time frame, then it's a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Pretty crazy price movement today. Not only price movement, but you look down here at the volume, and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one, and you know we'll map out a couple of areas of support and resistance. Right now the chart, you know, it, it's still bullish, but I, as you can see, I hesitate because. Yeah, it, it's it's bullish, but the price has made a pretty deep pullback. I mean, when you stop and just think about that, you know, at one point the price was up around this range of the chart. However, now it's all the way down there. That's a pretty significant pullback. Again, am I going to call the chart totally wrecked? I'm not going to call it that, but the chart is kind of sketchy in some ways. There is some shadiness to it because of this, you know, pretty big pullback here. So the first level to keep an eye on going forward, um, as far as the support standpoint is concerned, is gonna be down here right around three dollars and fifteen cents. And three fifteen I'd consider a, a very, very important level for the simple reason that, and I'm not saying this is what's gonna happen, but just to, you know, kind of provide some justification, is let's say the price comes down here, breaks down through it, and then just continues on down. What would you have at that point in time? You'd you'd have the price back inside of this range of the chart. And not to insult your intelligence, but price movements with true power, with genuine strength, the price doesn't go back to where it was. The price is going to make some sort of progress forward. And this $1.15 point is essentially the progress point, if you will. I mean, let's say the price actually comes down there, behaves in this manner, and then starts to work its way back upwards. Well, from the grand scheme of things, what would you have in this set of circumstances? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have these lows down there if you envision each one of those as stair steps. Well, overall, big picture, you still would have stair steps progressing in the upwards direction, and that's the name of the game. That's what you want to see from a grand scheme of things viewpoint is prices showing progress and showing strength. And again, I'm defining strength as staying up above $3.15. So keep a very close eye on that, and that'll kind of help dictate whether or not this chart is actually bullish or bearish. So is the price making progress, making progress associated again with bullishness, or is the price going back? Going back associated with bearishness. We'll see what happens with it, but yeah, keep an eye on $3.15. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.